Hello and welcome back to Lorefan Gaming Plays the Bar Cell 4 Drex Cut Walkthrough Video. I'm your host Lorefan and today's the Bar Cell 4 Drex Cut Walkthrough Video. We're doing the Logic Can Steering Party. While we're at it, we're going to get lost trying to do the Wanda piece. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more the Bar Cell 4 content like this. And do not forget to hit that notification bell. You'll be updated on my videos and more. In the last video, we did the Blood of Kings Part 7. We finally finished it. Now we're on a side quest run. That's correct, everyone. We are doing some side quests before we start the end game run. So first thing we're going to do right now is actually solve the puzzle. This is the very first thing we're going to do this quest and actually finish it. It would be a short video. However, I am roping the Wana piece into it. Actually trying to get to the dungeon. So, first of all, you want to combine the right ingredients, the right two, and the book with it. Yeah, see, if it cannot be put there, that means it is the wrong book. Again, I'll put timestamps in the video so people will benefit from this and they'll know what to do exactly. So, let's see over here right now. Let's see here. I think it's this one. There you go. It's the correct one. The orb will close. That's number one right here. Again, I'll put timestamps in the video and what items you should drop off. So now we're going to do is potatoes. This right here, special drink. We're going to put this one here. There you go. We got two more left. We got two more and we are done. This is basically a short quest. Once you find all the books, it takes a while to find all the books. It's throughout the story. The last book is in the Blood of Kings. And there you go. One more left. And once you get the four books, this thing is much, much easier. So we're going to do this right here. Carrot. And this, yeah, and the inventory system does need some work. And look at that. We got it all done. The uh, gate has unlocked. And right there is an item we need. So we're going to pick this up. Why are we doing this quest? The Berserker's Tribute. You see, in a future video, we're going to be doing the Berserker's Tribute right here. And that's the combination right there. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, 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 wait. One, two, three, four, five. That's a combination of my suitcase. Oh, yeah. I better go change it. Yeah. Still, this is a nice item, though. But one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. That is not a good combination. Never have that. Trust me. You ever watch the movie Spaceballs? Yeah. That's why. Still, we're going to turn this in right now. This is going to be a short quest to turn in. Then I'm going to attempt to find the Wanda piece while I'm at it. Doing some forward progression for the Hungering Blade. So, this one's easy to turn in. You want the Berserker's Tribute. This is the number one reason why you do this quest here. It leads to another quest. And that Berserker's Tribute, let me say this right now. You want it so this way you do this experience quest. That one will be a long video, but still... Is worth doing. So now we're going over here. We're going to actually turn this in. And then we're going to get ourselves lost. Trying to look for the area for the want of peace. So just going to keep on going over here. Just keep on looking around. And just turn this in. And that will be it for this quest right here. This would have been a short video. However, I just want to do more things. Yeah, you got to keep busy in this game constantly. And besides, I'll show everybody some uh, st cool stuff during the main quest too. It's really cool. So we'll go over here. It's the same area where you bought the special L for the turtle quest, I'm calling it. So go down here. Go right here. We're going to turn this in. I'll return after it's done. You figured it out. Oh, I can't thank you enough for bringing me the page. Here, please take this small token of my appreciation. Now to get back home. Let's see that spell. Ah yes. Now I remember. We have officially completed the side quest. It is done and over with. We have gotten this quest since the Sacred Grove right here. Actually after the Sacred Grove. So that is now done. We got the Berserker's Tribute. That will be used in a future video after I complete the Wand of Peace. So now what we're going to do is the Hungering Blade for a little bit, since I got lost. And then we're going to find the Lodge. Yet yeah, this Lodge is where the Wand of Peace dungeon is at. I know it for a fact, for a good idea, what the Wand of Peace is. 
If you've been reading the notes, every Barstel fan knows that. Still, we got ourselves a level up, which is really good. Let's see here with Scarlet. Yeah, might just make her more tanky tanky. And that looks good right here. Really uh, good. So we're going to do the Hungering Blade for a little bit because I got lost trying to find the right location. Then afterwards, what we're going to do is actually get started finding this lodge. Still, you want to do this though. Just explore around much as you want. This is like the towards the end of the game. Now, here is, is a warning about endgame. As soon as you enter the Hungering Blade dungeon, at a certain point, you grab the said item, it'll give you a question. You need to be careful on that. For now, you just get to explore and do everything. We're going to turn in this part of this quest right now, and then resume part of it. So, let's talk to the Leah right here. Friends, welcome again to Torfion. What can I do for you? The Red Vault? I have just had word that Bren, the outpost that defends it, is under attack. Whatever you seek there, it appears your enemies are again a step ahead of you. Nothing. It sounds... unpleasant. The Badish gave it that name, back when they tried to take this wood for their own. It is a place of the Charn, more deadly by far than I won Reg, and thus more strongly warded. Triply so. Hidden, guarded, and sealed. Bren is an outpost built to stop anyone who somehow finds the vault from entering it, and to stop anything that escapes the vault from entering the wood. It is garrisoned entirely by spear daughters, each sworn to die to keep the world safe from its evil. On any other day, I would have told you that entering it was forbidden, but I fear the worst is happening there, so I will send you. First, you will need this gem to unlock the sky door to Bren. Secondly, you will need this. The tear of Fay and Wythe, gifted to us by her benevolence when she helped us seal the vault. There should be no other way to enter the place, but these cultists have magics even the elves might envy, so I fear they have breached it, then sealed it again behind them. There we go, we got ourselves part of the quest, we got ourselves a gemstone too. I grabbed that just in case the lodge at the time of this recording requires it. It does not require it. You can immediately go to the constellations, but still pick up the gem. Reason being is this because in case you want to start parts of the hungering blade or you want to do it and not do hair and hold. Yeah, those are the reasons. Plus I need some experience points or I gain some nice level up here. So I'm building up Lawrence right now for the meditation part here. I'm just going over what is good for him and what is, is exactly bad for him. All right, that's good for him. That is good. And I think that's it for leveling for uh, now. What we're going to do is uh, go look around for trouble while we are getting lost. And then I'm going to head towards the lodge. After I found out, I went the wrong way. And then that is it. Still, it's a little detour. And it's a preview of what is to come for the Hungering Blade. So those of you who does not want to do hair and hold or finish the game really quick, I'm giving everybody a taste of what is to come. Yeah, things will get tougher from here on out. It will not be an easy task. Still, at this point, if your party's developed well and you've been playing well, you will do well. Well, hair and hold does test that too, but still, that'll be in a future video. So for now, I am looking at my map, make sure I am looking for the right direction to uh, go to. Now, here is a thing, a word of warning also. The forest is seriously full of emnies now, new emnies. It's just an upgrade variant of the uh, old ones, but still, it's new type of emnies here. And things will get much, much more, I should say, annoying than uh, tougher. Unless you've been struggling in combat, then yeah, it just will get much, much worse. So, go over here, we're going to try to look for a way to teleport. To the constellations and we're enter the constellation code i'll uh, put timestamps in the video for those so this way everybody knows what constellation they could uh, actually use so we'll go over here check our characters out we're going to stealth up ahead some combat i'm going to fight 
Yep, things are getting much, much easier for me. At this point, I'm just checking out what is good, what is to sell, if I can find a vendor. Yeah, I broke the bank. Yeah, I busted the economy thanks to my rogue. Yeah, she's been start stealing stuff, and she just broke the economy. It's broken. Yeah, I broke the games and comedy. It's my fault. And we'll just use gesture right here, and there you go. You get an achievement for picking the gesture skill. It's not bad at all. It's pretty decent. Seriously, it is seriously decent. So now we have the ability to equip gesture items, which is actually pretty fun if you want to go that route. And there is right here. We're going to pick that for the rogue because in case one of our party members or two dies, rogue's alive, rogue gets more critical hits. Okay, that's a little disappointment, but still, oh well. It's not bad. Eventually, if you didn't pick the elven armor, yeah, then that would probably would have been a better option. Still, we're going to keep on going and just keep on looking around here. So we're going to go straight ahead. There'll be Emneys, and we're going to go ahead and uh, storm them real hard. Here we go on the fun and combat for this video. We're going to kick some serious booty right here and right about now. Tell me what to do. Ready. Let's what do have you something. done to them? If all this is over, I'm pulling your car. Bastani! Bastani! In 
into the shadows. Yeah. Oh. Oh. You should fight me. Me? Like the wolf. You think you're tough? On your one. Yes, we are firing our way through this area in order to get to the constellations. Now, before we did this quest, it was all clear. However, Tarjan has decided to send some help. And yeah, we have to take care of the help, all right. Seriously, we will have to at this point. So, I'll try to avoid this area as much as possible. But if there's enemies up ahead, yeah, I'm not going to risk it. Besides, I'm trying to squeeze in that last few levels of this game here. Before actually starting the end of the uh, road. Yeah. After the Blood of Kings. This is about it here. We're starting the end game process. We already met the mid game. Now this is technically end game. So you see that light over there. We're going to try use it to uh, teleport. We we'll have to be uh, careful because. Yeah we do not want to run into enemies. I do not feel like running into any enemies at this point. So I'm going to go over here. Up here see if I could uh, do this and let's go over here see if I could teleport here if not I have to go somewhere else to actually uh, pull this off so here we go we'll go over here and let's move over here no we can't teleport some reason I guess that's used up yeah oh well we'll uh, move over here some more and if you can't teleport you gotta go the uh, long way which is the uh, center of this uh, area here and climb the uh, ladders I'm going to try this way here. No, no interaction. Oh, well, we have to keep on trying. And I'm afraid I think there's some enemies on the way to one of them. Yeah, it's, 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 they're there. It's unfortunate. So we'll go over here, try this one. And then I'm going to go around until I get the uh, right one to get in. Well, I could have went to the center, but you know what? This way is much, much quicker. There's some enemies up ahead. We'll have to clear them out. <laughs> Into the shadows. Help me yourself. Tell me who to kill. But you get the blip. Your mother's home. Oh, for that, we yeah. think. Here. Fine. I? 
Whatever. Son! Help me! You! Ah! Who's that? Catawalling! Get out of my way! Out of my way! Coming through! You cannot touch me! Vaskani! Vaskani! Yeah. I need a drink. That will be your last drink. Here. Yeah, at this point, we're just uh, knocking them down. Yeah, this is close to the end of the uh, game here, and yeah, things are getting much, much easier for me. Despite the fact I am on the second lowest difficulty of the uh, game, normal mode. So, we'll go over here, look for a teleport that is not in use right here. I believe it's here, so let's hit it. There you go. What we're going to do right now is assert the gem right here, and there you have it. We're going to make the Owl Constellation. This will lead us to the Red Vault area. However, we are not going inside the red vault for one reason. Well, here's the thing. It's a, uh, it will lead us to an end game and I'll miss out on so many things. That's why I'm just showing everybody right now parts of it. So we, okay, we got that. Okay, we got it right. There you go. There's the owl. Again, I'll tell, I'll put timestamps in the video for that. We're going to pull the lever. There's your shortcut. You don't have to worry about teleporting no more. And it's right there. What we're going to do is revive the save stone. Then clear this empty out. I'm going to probably do one two more battles. And then I'll head towards the uh, lodge and put in the correct constellation. So we're going to charge here and we're going to make things fun. Ready. 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 Um, yes? On your one. What's going on? your face? Are you walking back? Here. Fine. Bombs up. Nothing hurts me anymore! Anime area! You look non-neckers! Yeah! And the fire! struck! Am I supposed to be doing something? Ready. What are we doing? Ready for orders. Yeah. 
you. Stop! Back to the last row. Get over there! Here we go! Here we go! Here we go! Here we go! That is the preview to come for the Hungering Blade. Yeah, that's the start of some of these enemies here. So for now, I'm just going to explore around this area here. Grab much things as I can before going back to the constellations and enter the correct one. Yeah, we're going to try to enter the uh, correct one. So let's go over here. Check it out. Yeah, everything's burnt down. Look like Tarjan has already been here somehow or his men at least. So let's go explore. Let's go check everything out. Yeah, there's a dead body. That is not a good sign at all. That is a terrible sign. Yeah, that's a horrible sign, folks. Seriously. We need the Bryn key. However, we got our lock picks. We can open that up. And yeah, I think it's time just to not go through that gate. Yeah, I can defeat the enemies here. Let's be honest. However, I feel like it's the wrong direction. And besides... We'll uh, do that when we do the Hungering Blade video. For now, I am just going to just collect my thoughts and figure out what I did wrong for the sense of direction. Yeah, I got lost. Still, we probably have to go back to the constellation. Still, this is a cool area and this is a preview of the Hungering Blade. It's really cool though. I mean, it's a nice area. Well, it's not nice, but still is nice for the uh, looks of it. Burnt village, smoke everywhere, and yeah bad things happen still we're gonna go back we're gonna teleport to the stonehenge constellations and we're actually enter the last and final constellation and this should be it here so we'll teleport and i'll tell everybody which one you should enter we're here at the constellation we're gonna enter the wolf constellation so i'm gonna give everybody a chance to uh, look at the wolf one before we actually teleport in so just do what i am doing and we're going to get in and we'll end the video once we're inside the lodge for the Wand of Peace. So let's try and make a wolf out of this and see if this is the right one. Okay, that is a bad wolf. That is a wrong one. Yeah, this one's a little bit uh, fun. There you go. There's the wolf right there. That's blocked off. So we're going to look for a shortcut lever. We're going to flip it. There you go. We could come back here anytime without the stone hedge things. So we'll go over here. We're going to also activate the stone circle so we can teleport back to Old Scarabray or anywhere else of our choosing. Yep, see right there, we're teleporting back. And there you have it. So we're going to enter here and then afterwards I'll end the video. So let me review on what went down in today's video. We did the Logican's dinner party, have a nice preview of the Hungering Blade, and we have finally arrived here for the Wand of Peace. In our next video, we're going to do the Wand of Peace and collect a certain wand from a certain game. Well, that's it for the Barcel 4 Dirt's Cut walkthrough video. This is Lord Fitton signing off. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful day or night.